Am I the asshole? For not paying my boyfriend back after he didn't get me the right birthday cake. I definitely have a bit of a complex about this kind of stuff because of how I grew up always with my siblings getting what they asked for while I almost never did, and generally feeling like I never get my turn at things, so it will be helpful to know if I'm justified or overreacting. My BF and I have been dating for 10 months and it was my birthday yesterday. I put a lot of effort into birthdays including his and was pretty excited about it for the last month or so. There is a local bakery that makes a really good looking pineapple upside down cake. I have been really wanting to try it and have been saving it for my birthday. About a month in advance, I told him my birthday was coming up and gave him a few activity ideas, and told him that I didn't need a gift but I really wanted a pineapple upside down cake from XYZ Bakery, he said sure. Now dot I know this was probably annoying, but I did mention this specific cake several times, even before last month. Like we would drive by the bakery and I'd say something like oh hey that's the place with the pineapple cake, I wanna do that for my birthday. I wasn't deliberately hammering the point home or anything or aware that it was gonna end in a cake centered conflict, but there were a couple occasions where it came up. And then a week before my birthday I did text him a reminder about the cake so that he would have the bakery info on hand. Not the asshole you specifically asked for this one thing and he didn't deliver. Emo birthday gifts aren't as much about the item as they are a demonstration of your listening and seeing that person. Not the asshole. You didn't hint. You flat out told him what you wanted, and he ignored it. Not saying leave him, but that screams minimal effort. Talk to him about it, and he can eat that $30. Not the asshole. You were so specific. You're allowed to be upset when someone disappoints you. All the people who are saying yes H because you got so upset about a cake don't realize that it's not about the cake. It's about him not listening to you or not caring about making your birthday what you wanted. It's your birthday. You shouldn't have to put on a happy face and go to a comedy show to appease the feelings of the person who hurt your feelings. And you definitely shouldn't have to reimburse him for the tickets when it was his fault you were too upset to go. Uh, guys girls are so confusing why can't they just say what they're thinking? We're not mind readers. Girls I'd love a pineapple upside down cake for my birthday. Literally just the cake would make me so happy. I'm saving the opportunity to try it for my birthday. Please get me that specific cake that I want for my birthday. Guys get girl anything but the cake. Girl cries out of frustration. Guy I think you need to calm down, I don't understand why you're upset. This entire post pains me. You are not the asshole. Not the asshole forget all the cake stuff, the our opportunity was the comedy show in question. Presumably, this was also a gift to you as it was an event for your birthday. If you don't want to go cause he messed up your cake, or because you're not in a funny mood, or because you'd rather do something else you can. In my view, when someone gifts tickets to an event, the gift is the choice to go for free, not the obligation to attend. Unless his middle name is Ticketmaster, I wouldn't expect to be hit with an erroneous I feel disappointed on my not birthday fee on that ticket stub. Not the asshole in the bar for men is on the floor. How hard is it to buy a pineapple cake? Not the asshole. Why are you dating a guy who doesn't listen to you? Does he make you happy in other ways? And $30 is a small price to pay for what you now know about him. Not the asshole I'm sick of boyfriend's husband's getting a pass on BS like this. You clearly told him what you wanted and then he didn't even get the cake you asked for one thing and he couldn't even do that right. Not the asshole. You asked for something very inexpensive compared to the gifts he got you, and you made it very clear that you wanted this specific thing. He disregarded everything you said and has the audacity to ask you to reimburse him like you're a department store. Not the asshole. You asked for one small thing, and he decided he knew better. Not the asshole I'd end it over something like this. He even got himself a present for your B-Day. Damn, 
All the unabashed terrible gift givers coming out of the woodwork for this one. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. He's definitely not listening to what you're saying or understanding what's important to you and what's not. Seems menial but turns into big things down the line usually. And him asking for the cost of the ticket that was meant as a gift is a bit much too in my opinion. I'd send him a text and literally spelt I all out for him and why you were so emotional over it all. Happy belated birthday. Not the asshole. You asked for one thing, and not getting it is understandably disappointing. Your reaction is understandable. He just straight up ignored what you requested, it would be different not necessarily better, if he waited too long and the bakery couldn't get the cake on time, but he planned to get you a Kindle a gift which you apparently neither need nor want. He didn't forget, he went directly against your stated desires intentionally. Don't pay him back, he's the one that put the ticket to waste with his actions, not you. Not the asshole, but this relationship is probably dead. If he won't listen to you about this, what about bigger issues down the line? Info what did he say when you asked him why didn't you get me the pineapple upside down cake? This isn't about the cake at all. This is about your BF that don't give a shit about what you say. You spend months telling him in front of the bakery and pointing that you wanted a specific cake and he actually ended buying the wrong cake of a random bakery? Hell no. He had one job and he failed in it. This shows where your importance to him stands in his priorities. He in the end is angry because he spent $30 and won't reimburse? Go tell this MF to fuck himself. WTF, even I am upset now. Kinda wild how many people clearly didn't read the post and insist on pushing this narrative that OP was hinting at the cake and just wasn't clear enough with what she wanted. I literally don't care what you think you know about your partners bruh, don't get something unrelated when they ask for something specific. And even if you truly think you know better and believe they'd like something different get both. Not the asshole. Not the asshole I had the same thing with my ex. I went on and on about going to a certain restaurant I wanted to try, badgered him to reserve a night there for my birthday, and he didn't. I left him over it. He was a shitty guy anyways, but it was just so obvious then and there that his effort in actually listening to me and doing the one thing I really wanted just didn't exist. I still think about him. And sigh a sigh of relief I left lol. He sucked. Not the asshole, I know all too well how it feels when you've practically put a neon sign in front of them and they ignore it. It sucks and I'm sorry. Him asking for reimbursement is pretty tacky. Fuck, hopefully this has nothing to do with your relationship, but this is the kind of thing my ex-husband used to do, to reinforce the rule that it wasn't my place to put any expectations on him. You had a very simple request and he should have cared a little about making you happy. Demanding payment seems like he wants to punish you for wanting better for yourself. Red flag. Not the asshole. TBH I'm more upset with BFS reaction than anything. He made no effort to comfort her, went to the comedy show alone, and demanded she pay him back. He's T.A. for sure. Not the asshole. How hard is it to follow instructions? It is just pure laziness on his behalf. I don't want to cry narcissism and you already have over 300 comments. But this is a very typical narcissistic thing. He got you something a little expensive but you didn't want it. You wanted cake. And he didn't get that. It's like a setup to watch you be hurt then be able to manipulate you and make you feel bad for feeling bad. He spent money it's so upsetting for him he knew you'd be upset and that's exactly why he didn't get the cake. I spent too many birthdays like this. Please don't spend many more. Not the asshole you made it a point to tell him multiple times I'm sorry. You can give him more chances if you want but my experience is that these kind of baby steps towards weaponized incompetence usually only get worse over time. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You asked for the bare minimum and instead of getting you what you directly told him you wanted, he did something else. That's weird. Was the cake prohibitively expensive or something? 
Does the bakery ask for a certain time frame to order the cake for it to be ready and he missed it? Not the asshole. Life's too short to date someone who thinks they know what you want more than you do. No not the asshole. It's not hard to listen to your partner when they make comments like you did. Besides, the comedy show has nothing to do with the cake. For whatever reason, you did not attend. I assume the comedy show was something he planned to pay for as a birthday activity, so why would you be responsible for that cost whether you went or not? One thing op wanted one thing. And he's petty enough to Venmo. Not the asshole either way, pay or no pay. But honestly, can you be with someone who clearly doesn't hear, listen or see the person you are? Info is he like this in other aspects? Does he attentively listen? Does he want to do things you like to do? Dude, no joke I would probably lose interest completely if someone did this to me. Tell your PF you're going to take that $30 and run over to the bakery that you'd told him about and buy the pineapple upside down cake that you'd asked him for. Not the asshole. Regardless of the whole backstory, he shouldn't make you pay for your own birthday cake. Is he going to Venmo you to pay for the Kindle next? That Kindle was re-gifted, the tickets were most definitely to a show he wanted to go to and the grocery store cake was cheaper. No thought, no effort, dude sucks. Not the asshole. You were clear you wanted pineapple upside down cake which is better than vanilla, I made one last week. If GE wasn't going to get you the cake you wanted you could have gotten it yourself. Not the asshole. You seem to have very clearly stated what you wanted and he, either because he didn't care listen or thinks he knows better, got you something else. It's not a great indicator for the future of your relationship, tbh.